Well guys, it's a long time I've made a video and uh, I got some terrible news. Well, it's not really terrible, but I also have good news. Sooner or later, well actually now we're July the 25th. I don't know when this is going to get uploaded, but um, we're going to Toronto the 27th for a trip to Aruba. It's going to be awesome. And I found, well, or I was thinking of getting new rubber for this. I think I was going to go with the swamp lights, all four corners, 25 10 11s uh, with ITP deltas. That'd be pretty sick. But um, I'll give it like a stance higher. I changed the drain plug crush washer because the original one, the original one was shot, and I made one out of a piece of copper pipe, and it didn't work for shit. So. I went to actually go get a real one, so it works pretty good. Uh, I got Quaker Steak 1040. For some reason, this Honda really likes this stuff. It really, the clutches really grab good, and just overall really likes it. I don't know why, but and also on Kijiji, I found this exact motor with a shifter, oil cooler, lines, uh, original starter. New oil filter even comes with the oil and the oil oil filter. It complete engine, okay, for 350. I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but I need a new. Uh, I need a few parts. First of all, well, this is one part I can't replace. See these bolts? That's bad, right? Um, the hole stripped out, so I put these bolts in there, and they made their own threads. So I, I'm, I was really pissed about that. But also, a little while back, one of these caps got loose. So it cracked, and that one's not far behind. So <laughs> um, this seal stopped leaking finally. Uh, the frame broke again. It broke there, and now there. And next summer, I'm probably gonna take out the engine, change that seal get a gasket set for it for the bottom and top I have to get a gasket for the exhaust I have the clamp that goes here I just put that because I didn't want the other one to rust out because it's not that far I have a whole new exhaust I fix uh, that freaking oil seal up there is really getting bad this rim leaks a lot of air I made these and the circle is great and uh, I clean off the Yamaha air filter and this thing, I started it today because it's about a month I haven't used it. But it started up right away, but I'm not concerned. And this thing, we just brought it back. And yeah, uh, <laughs> it was at the chalet. And we're putting uh, the plow on it that w that's normally on this. I don't have footage of it, unfortunately. Maybe one day, I don't know yet. But this, we're putting the plow on this now. I have the bracket over there, a black thing, and we're going to put the plow on this, and I'm going to change the front tires, I'm going to put the original rear tires on this, so they're going to be 10 inch wide instead of 8 inches, and it's going to be uh, much better in the snow and stuff, because they're still good, the old tires, but, um, yeah, it's just that we put these ones, because the guy kind of forced us, and I was pretty pissed about that, because I wanted to keep the originals. Polaris just keeps moving off the trailer into the garage and then back onto the trailer and then back in the garage. And then off the trailer and then back in the garage. That's pretty much all I was doing so far. And I can't wait to get freaking rid of this thing, man. There's like no gas in it and there's nothing. It's just oil and yeah, about it. I can't stand this thing. I can't even stand the wheels. Freaking ugly. These tires don't grip for shit. They're already all worn. They're worn more. These tires are worn more than those. And these have 3,000K on them. These, barely 1,000. Yeah, right. I know. Um, the oil in this thing was green when I changed it. And it seems to be green again. So I've changed it again. And that's about it for now. So I'm making a polisher back there. But I'll be in another video. So, yeah, later.